Hello everyone, uh, this is Fortress Newbie here, back with another Star Wars Republic video. Today I have for you guys another Star Wars Republic uh, speed running video. Today is Star Wars Republic speed running video. We're just going to be doing a full Oricon daily run. So, pretty straightforward, all I have to do is complete all the missions, including the area one. The time starts at when I've, I, of course, you know, start picking up missions, and it stops at when I turn them all in. Now, obviously, with the area mission, it will just show up later. But uh, once again, I mean the goal is just to actually complete all of the dailies. Pretty straightforward. Now I did have a giveaway in the past video, and the two winners are in the description down below. The reason I did two winners for this is because they did have a cartel pack sale where you could actually buy, you know, two for the price of one. So I just thought, you know, hey, why not just get two and award two people cartel packs? I'll be trying to do uh, giveaways, uh, you know, more often once again. Hopefully in the next, you know, sharpshooter gunslinger PvP video. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, Social Republic speedrunning video. As always, if you guys enjoy these videos, then make sure to leave a like. And if you guys want some gaming mints, then check the link in the description down below. Catalyst at gaming mints. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys in the speedrun. Alrighty, guys, let's just get ready for this. And the time starts now. So we're just going to go ahead and just pick up all of that. And there we go. Did we pick them all up? Yes, we did. That would have been really embarrassing if we just missed something. And here we go. We're just going to rush right in. Just going to discover the area. Now, it's going to take a while for us to actually discover it, but I'm okay with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and start accessing stuff just to get prepared. All right, so now we have that guy right there. Just going to have to rush this, of course. Now, these guys are a pain mainly because of just how they stun you. Like, this guy will just try to force choke me in a second. But luckily my companion's gonna actually have my back there, so that's a really useful. Alright, so just go after this guy. Now the thing that I'm gonna need to be careful about is with the Heroic 2 that you actually have to do, it could end up really costing me if I'm not careful. So uh, what I'm probably gonna do is, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a healer, but I'm gonna need to be very careful with the, what I actually do here. So uh, here we go, we're just gonna go after this guy. I might just actually just use a healer for the Heroic 2 just in case. But I mean, let's be honest, I haven't ran this uh, whole entire like, uh, little daily area in quite a while, so it is a bit inconvenient, but I'm okay with that. Okay, I need to stun this guy, because he's going to force choke me like crazy if I'm not careful. And uh, there we go, we're just going to run over here, not wasting any time at all. This is a good way to, of course, uh, farm the area. Now, eventually, we are going to, you know, basically get it without even trying, which is the one thing that's incredibly reliable here. Is you don't even need to worry about much you can just uh, literally rush through everything so uh, all right if we uh, pull these guys I'm gonna be sad but we are like probably going to okay we're gonna actually get uh, attacked uh, like crazy here so let me just activate uh, the bubble of destiny let this guy attack me the issue is he might force choke me all right he didn't force choke me but he did uh, do that to my companion so just let him attack actually just run away and uh, there we go no big deal we're just gonna kind of you know kind of ignore them here we did miss one of the uh, republic soldier things which that's okay we can go back for it later but for now let's just focus on this all right so we are taking a lot of damage i mean as you can tell it is not fun when you take this much damage in this game but it does happen but yeah i mean i did miss one of the things to free people so i am gonna have to sadly go back for that eventually i'm not sure how i'm gonna do it just yet but i am gonna need to like somehow kind of like sneak it in there so, alright, let's just wait right here, just loot this again, and we can actually locate the energy source. So I'm just going to kind of do a risky thing here. I'm going to go back quickly, and this is, once again, I mean, this is going to waste a lot of time here, because it's just like kind of like a, my own fault, because I didn't pay attention. So we're just going to rush it through here, jump back. Hopefully it is here by now. Hopefully we actually have all the uh, things uh, back. Yeah, there we go. Alright, that's a bit disappointing, but uh, it's whatever. We can deal with it, uh, I guess. I mean, once again, I mean, these are for fun, so it's not that big of a deal. It is a bit disappointing, though, because it is going to waste some time just kind of like uh, to my own fault here. But hey, I mean, that's fine. Let's just uh, kind of continue on with uh, the mission we're trying to do here. Alrighty, so we're just going to kind of uh, jump around these guys, hopefully, not get stuck. Alright, this is going to really suck because these guys, when they do get aggro, they are going to try to slow you down like crazy. Yeah, they're already starting to do it. That is really inconvenient, but we're just going to try to uh, avoid all of the ads here. All right, nice. We're just going to head back. Okay, get me out of combat for a second. 
just please get me out of combat there we go nice alrighty so we do have these uh, tentacles here nothing too big and nothing we can't handle just to simply attack them at once and then they die so we're just gonna go ahead and just kinda continue to attack them and there we go nice alrighty just rush up here and now we're gonna have this little boss character here this guy's uh, pretty straightforward he's really annoying though because he likes to uh, attack and like uh, steal your health and it's not good but uh, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, take him out just uh, rush back just loot him they are gonna spawn right there that is gonna waste our time a little but now we are just running back because you do have to actually exit the area to complete the daily alrighty then just uh, continue to run over here now we are going to have to hit up the Heroic 2 now because normally I don't do these on the original runs I would do. I wouldn't go directly for the Heroic 2, but now I'm actually just going to go ahead and just stop by on the way. Okay, I just need to pray that I don't uh, pull too many ads. Oh no, this is bad. I always remember this. Okay, that's a new one. I've never heard of this area before, the Master's Minions. I've never actually seen that. Okay, it's 50 again. Okay, I guess we have to kill 50 again. I've never actually seen that. I don't know why that showed up. I guess that's something new they added. Okay, acting on behalf of the Dreadmasters. Oh, I, I don't understand. Oh, well, I guess, I mean, we can uh, kind of deal with that. I didn't remember that they actually added another area. I've never actually seen that before. It might have been, like, too long since I've done this, but, I mean, I guess we have more stuff right here. All right. This is going to be a big test in the sense that if I screw this up, then it's going to be really bad. All right, just run over here. Just kind of avoid all the ads. I'm kind of scared to do one, like kind of like one of the champion mobs at first, because if I like make a mistake and they end up being really difficult, then it's gonna be really tragic. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, do that right there. Okay, let's see how much HP does this guy have. We can kind of figure out. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. I should be able to kill him pretty easily. Then again, we are skilled down, but I'm okay with that. Just rush him right here, going straight for the kill. Alright, actually want to. Oh, I don't have it yet. That was really dumb. I thought I had my little reflect ability up already, but... Alright, we're just going to rush him here. He is going to stun us. Just reflect. There we go. Nice. Really smart reflect there. That is going to mess with him uh, very badly. Alright, it looks like we don't. it doesn't even matter in the end that we can actually just go ahead and just uh, go after these guys. Alrighty, this is going to suck. We might pull one of these. Go around the corner, no big deal. Just you know, don't mind me. Just trying to uh, just uh, completely cheat the system. All right, this is gonna be uh, extremely bad if he pulls the other mobs. If he does, then that is uh, very bad. Oh no! Please don't pull the mobs. Please don't pull the mobs. There we go. Nice. Thank you for pulling me. Thank you for pulling me. That actually saved me there. So we're just gonna activate this. So activate some extra stuff uh, just so I don't die. There we go. We're just going straight to four kills here. Alright, should work out pretty well. We are stunned, however. He should be able to kill him. There we go, nice. Alrighty then. Now we just gotta pray that uh, these respond. Alright, they did, good. So, uh, this heroic too, uh, just no big deal. We just kinda completely rushed that and had no issues with it. Just gotta continue to just run around everyone, since I don't want to die here. And I don't want to get into an unnecessary fight, so go after this one again. And now we just need one more, and uh, there we go, we're done with the heroic. So... Go past them, uh, no big deal. Just the, uh, I would say, like, the pro strats here. Nice, alrighty. So we got the, uh, probably, like, the most difficult one out of the way there. So we do have these areas still. So that is going to be uh, kind of irritating, but, uh, okay, let's just run out of here. I don't even care if I pull them. I'm just rushing out. Don't even want to fight anyone just to get in out of here. All right. So next one on uh, the uh, list here. Let's see, okay, we gotta plant those devices. Normally I do go there and then I go to the tower. But since we do have this area, we do have one at the very bottom. We are gonna have to kind of take care of those. Alright, let's make sure I have everything. Once again, I don't want to screw this up. Alright, so we do have that right there. Alright, so that is all of the things right there to actually complete the weekly. So very convenient, I just wanted to make sure, because let's be honest, we don't want to be like heading over here and then we don't have anything. That would be like really ridiculous and that would ruin everything. So, all right, we're just gonna go past these guys. They are gonna try to attack me, however. We're gonna pull a lot of mobs here. Gonna get a lot of people irritated, but uh, hey, we're just gonna get out of the way here. 
All right, they're gonna chase after us though. Okay, I wanted to take out that one. That was unnecessary, but let's be honest, we do need to take out the mobs here. So this kind of might actually be helping us here, just taking them out. All right, just go after them. Take them out while I'm running away. Just running around taking them out since I do need to actually take down enemies here. There we go, just a very nice way to just go ahead and farm it. We did complete the one mission right there, so that's helpful. Oh no, looks like we're getting interrupted by those abilities there. Gonna have another guy here, just take him out, no big deal. Alright, we do have that guy chilling there though, we got that other evil guy. So, let's see right here. Got more enemies. You know what, let's just take these out while we're on the way, might as well just save some time. We do have some up on the tower, and normally I do run through those, but since we do have this new area that we are kind of like required to do, I'm going to, of course, uh, not run through it. I'm just going to take down the mobs. So, 21 out of 50. So, this is going to be kind of like the race uh, to make sure we can get 50 out of 50 in time. I just really don't want to, like, uh, finish it and then be uh, done with the tower trying to teleport back, and it's just going to completely mess with us. All right. Just go right here. We're about to hit 10 minutes, so we are doing pretty well in time. I remember this is the guy that can literally ruin your run. So I don't know how he works actually, but uh, he's like really strange in the sense that when you activate this stuff, he jumps at you and is like crazy. I don't know how to describe it, but it's you'll probably see in a second. So we're going to activate uh, some stuff. Just going to make sure we uh, don't die. Just activate everything we possibly can. He's going to do a lot of damage in a second. At least normally he does. Looks like he didn't that time. I don't know why, but he didn't do a bunch of damage. So you know what? I'm fine with that. Okay, we're just going to click this. There we go. Nice. Now I just got to exit, and this is going to be the challenge here. So we have this one area mission, and then we do have the tower's core, and then we just got to turn all the stuff in. So this is going to be the real task here, just making sure that we don't fail this. I thought my propulsion round was up, but it's not up just yet. Just turn around, jump back, and there we go. Alrighty, so I'm just going to take the risk here. I'm just going to really hope that uh, with this, at least, that I'm not going to like completely ruin the run. I'm going to hope that there's enough up in the tower that it's not going to completely ruin me. So here we go to skip all of these guys, not even worry about any of them, just taking them out. And then we're just going to go up the steps and just start taking the enemies out one by one. Alright, so... There are two sides, if I remember correctly, there's two sides to actually get up here, but we're going to take this side since we do need to. We aren't worrying about the bonus at all because as you can tell, these are like the little bonus things right here. All right, this looks kind of cleared. Okay, I'm getting kind of nervous. All right, there you go, I was about to say. There had to be like some enemies, but uh, it's not looking like a lot, sadly, which is going to really mess with us here. Okay, I'm actually going to attack these guys because I believe normally you still end up pulling them. You can try to skip them, but it's not going to work out too well. Just stun this guy. He is slowing me down, but uh, we are just going to take him out and not worry about a single thing. So there we go, 27 out of 50. Let's go right here. Let's try to click this, and now we're just moving up in the game. All right, hopefully this loads. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, here we go. Nice. We got a lot of people up here. This is exactly what I needed. There's enough people so it can complete my little daily. So uh, as of right now, I will probably run since I know that there are some enemies in the daily that I do have to fight. I will take out these guys going up, however. But for the rest of them, I'm probably going to just try to run since I don't want to waste my time here. So take that guy out. And nice. So I'm just going to run through all these guys not worry about a single thing and just uh, get this uh, done with. So here we go. 35 out of 50. Uh, once again, I believe we do have some fights up here. We can go after the mobs around here if we uh, like really need to, though. All right. I'm probably going to pull this guy. And it's going to irritate me. Yep. We pulled him. That really sucks. All right. I'm just going to use the reflect. We need to take him out as quick as possible here. Hopefully he does like a regular melee attack or something. Okay. He's not going to do that. And here we go. Can't mount here. Disable the uh, course defensives. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, there's going to be a bunch of enemies that spawn in here. Hopefully, it counts as dread for, or, you know, forces, though. If it doesn't do that, then that's going to make me incredibly sad. So, here we go. We're just going to take out these guys. Yep, it's going to count them. That's really helpful. 
Alrighty, so we will be able to complete the area mission with no issues whatsoever. So just go after this guy. And then we're just going to go after some more. So we are like uh, kind of completing the area missions and not worrying about a single thing. So just go after this one. There we go. And then we're going to have one more. So we will complete this area mission and not have to worry about it since these guys do spawn in. So I was uh, kind of smart to uh, leave everything else alone and just uh, run up here. Which I'm glad about. That will save some time. But in the beginning, we still did make a mistake with uh, the pod there. So that is going to kind of slow us down. But it's fine. So we're coming up on uh, 14 minutes at 15 seconds right now. So I don't, I don't I mean, I don't really know what would be considered like amazing. But we could complete this. Let's wait for it. We could complete this in a decent time. Okay, we are going to have the enemy right here. So just uh, pretty straightforward. Just stun him and just uh, stab him. Just do all the bad things to take him out. All right, and then we are going to take this. Nice. We have to leave now, but once again, 44 out of 50. So now we need to kind of like find enemies here. So are there some on the side? Yes, there are. Nice. Yep, there's just all of them right here. This is going to work out very well. All right, so we're just going to activate this. Just go after all these guys. Take them out. And that should be it. So there we go. 49, 50. We did complete one. So nice. Just take this one. We already got one right there. And now we got to go back to the camp. So just to get to the camp. If I took the steps, that would have been really awful. So 15 minutes, 18 seconds. So we are going to get to sub 15 at 30 right here. So just to take all of these right there. And time. All right. So 1526 is what I got with that little speed run. Not too bad. Obviously, I mean, once again, do these for fun. Don't really know what a really a good time would be. But I feel like if we didn't make the mistake with the pods in the very beginning, it would have kind of like saved us in a sense. I feel like, you know, if we didn't do that, we would possibly would have gone sub 15. But I feel like for completing all those missions that we had to do, Doing all those crazy tasks, I feel like in the end it was a pretty a good effort. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Delta Republic speedrunning video. As always, if you guys enjoy these videos, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.